Okay, want to see a dog at 200 millimeters? There you go. Want to see a cat? So you see, 200 millimeters may be too close. And if I bring in a headshot, is that 800 millimeters? Okay, look at that. And I'll bring it back a little bit. Get the whole shot in there. What do you think? It's around his eyes. And I'm gonna try to get this uh, airplane. Ah, I missed it. Yeah, my fault. Okay. So let's look at something else. See, it's auto-focusing correctly. I'm not even touching it. Let's recognize what it is. And it looks a little bright, doesn't it? There are sirens. Okay, let's get on that flower. That doesn't sound good, folks. Now that's in the shade, all right? So uh, let me uh, switch it off and see what I can get another one. Okay, that looks much better. I'm looking at the brick. That's green, by the way. Leaves look a lot better. They're not whitewashed. And there you go, a flower. So I did have it in uh, Oh wow, look at her. Sh look at that. I'm going to put it back 600 millimeters. And we go all the way to 200. Isn't that beautiful? Excellent. Now, if I scope up, the reason why I bought it in the backyard is there's usually a squirrel here. And it might be too warm. He loves my live oak tree because you can see all the nuts that are falling down. Most of them he's already gotten. But uh, he waits until my dog and cat go inside and he'll pick them up and then bury them in the yard. So now I'm just showing you across the ditch fence line. This is at 200 millimeters, folks. Okay. And I'm using a tripod. So you can't see it very well, but let's zoom in. This is just the top part, okay? It's 800 millimeters. And I can do that to anything. So, if I go all the way over here to the left, 
Okay. You see his camera? You can even see the wire hanging on, you know, underneath the E or the awning. Look at that. See, now I can get, let's see if it focuses on my fence. Let's do this. Yeah. So if I point to it, look, look at the grain on the fence. Isn't that something? I'll go to the post. This is at 800 millimeters, folks. And I'm about uh, 40 feet away. But you can see the grain, the wood. Color is accurate, too. So that's what I do. I'm in the shade because if I put it out in front. Okay, let's see if I can get something focused. Too close. Still a little bit too close. See? There we go. And that's at almost 400 millimeters. Okay? That's what it says. Now I'm at 200. See, it's focusing. All right, just a quick video just to show you. How good this camera is with the new firmware update. Let's do my rock. And actually it's a cement uh, post that broke off. Well, look how sharp that is. And that's about 60 feet away. So I'm not center, okay? It's about 100 feet wide. Maybe even a little bit more. Maybe 120. But anyway, you can look at the chair. Look at the table. Everything's nice and clear. I know this is boring. I just want to show you the sharpness. Okay, the flowers are right there. That's at 200. Let's go to 800, see if I can pick it up. There we go. Yep. There you go. See? So what I'm trying to do... There we go. The swing set was uh, in the foreground. And I'm not steadying it. Come on. Isn't that nice? So anyway, a uh, seven minute uh, film. Come on, cat. Get in front. There you go. Went on his ear. Somehow. So you see? There we go. Now it's on his eye. And I think I have it on airplanes. So, 
anyway, this is in the backyard, 800 millimeters with the new firmware 1.01. .01. Autofocusing is, you know, working better once it recognizes. Me, I have it on the wrong subject again, but I try different things. So, uh, thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye, folks.